yeah, so this is my series Destined to Be and Be. I made it. I started making this thing about seven months ago, so we've been working on this for a good long time. Like, we started filming in August, and we've been shooting for a minute, trying to get everything finalized. We ran into a lot of hiccups along the way, but, you know, at least we got a lot of progress on it to show everybody, you know, what we got going on and everything. Um, I made this series just to, you know, kind of, like, show everybody what I'm capable of, because I know I can make great things, and... I, I made that so it's like you know I got a lot of I got a lot of talent in me and while I made this I want to grow a team with me in the process because you know it's hard to find people who are willing to stick with you for a long period of time to complete something especially when you know it's something like film you know something where it's like okay you know it might blow up might get a couple hundred like it like views or something like that but it's like that, that that takes a lot of dedication from not only you but from everybody that you come across you know and along the way i found all the people i needed i mean jake he was the first person on the project i known him since high school and we made videos together in high school like skits and stuff on my phone that was the first camera that i, I had pretty much <laughs> and you know we've always wanted to work on something together and just to be able to I come back home and we finally got something in the boat. It's like, hey, you know, it's just, it's great. Camille and Chris and Jazz, who's not here, um, I'm, I found them all online. I did not know them before this, like, at all. I, I use uh, this thing called Backstage, which is basically um, a place where actors go to find auditions and stuff like that. And I just threw a shot in the dark, said, hey, hopefully somebody finds this and hopefully be the right people, you know, and everything like that. And once I did that, they came, they auditioned, and they did amazing jobs. And yeah. I'm so happy that I got them on this project because literally, when I tell you I got the right people playing those parts, <laughs> I mean that wholeheartedly. Like, because every single, every single one of them brought a lot to their character, and I love that so much. Even Camille. Her, yes, in this episode, her character was dead. But there's more to her character that's going to be explained later in the series. But yeah, so that's how I met them. Mikey went to high school with him. It's just like it's a lot. Of, it's all about a lot of connections and everything like that. Just me knowing people, like hitting up people you know, and also just finding people along the way, and that's the most important thing. Daryl, me and him marched on the field in a high school band, all that stuff. I know he was always into videography and photography, so it's like, hey, why not put him on the project as well? Champion, originally he was not gonna be on this, but the thing was, because <laughs> like the thing was, the thing was, the thing was, it's like at the time I was just gonna have Jordan, who's not here as well, just be my main audio guy. But due to him being busy all the time and everything like that, I needed somebody else who understood things about audio and could help on set and everything and he came in he helped by the way this is Alexis boyfriend as y'all know but yeah so yeah y'all know but yeah so boom so basically Alexis brought him on and he was happy to help and I'm thankful for your help for real um this is Aaron this is my mentee basically um he's in high school and he's a very yeah, ambitious yeah, so he's he's a up aspiring filmmaker and he's coming up and he's gonna do great things. I already know it. He has an eye for this stuff and I noticed that whenever I did this little internship over the summer, that's where I first met him, and he hit me up and said, Hey, is there anything I can learn, help with and everything? This was the perfect thing. So it was like, hey, why not? So and he's been learning a lot and I'm thankful for him being helpful on this project as well. Um so I just wanted to, you know, make this project because literally I don't have no big budget. This is all out of my pocket. Really, I just used what I had and literally just paid for food, found these guys, hit oh, of course, of course, how does that carry on? So <laughs> it was just like a lot of just me just putting, using what I had to make this thing come to life. And a lot of the time when you look at the film industry, there's all these big million plus dollar budget I don't have that yet. <laughs> so it's kind of like, okay, what can I use to kind of like still make something that's effective with what I have? And when you're, whenever you're in a position like that, that just makes you more creative and mm -hmm. figure out what you got to do in order to make things work. So, you know, this is literally just me, my camera, the sound stuff I had, like, you know, and the lights I had and literally everything, all my equipment was probably like under a thousand dollars. Like, well, 
No, not the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, if I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I had to be honest, if I had to be honest, I would say I spent no more than like five, five thousand dollars on this project. So it was kind of like, hey, it was good. Majority of that was the camera. So yeah, <laughs> and then plus, I wasn't the most important part. And um, plus, it helped a lot with everybody working on it, being like, y'all, you ain't gotta pay me and all this other stuff. Especially because this is like a lot of their first project. Like this is her first project, her first project, everybody else's first project. So it's kind of like, hey, just like this is a great way of everybody just showing their skills and showing what they're capable of. Because literally, everybody here has great skills. It was just like it just takes something one project one something to kind of like give them a chance to show that so hopefully everybody watching gets to see that because i you know i felt it all the times we was on set all the blood sweat bro sweat literally because if we shot some scenes outside i was wearing that trench coat <laughs> obviously yeah and i had to keep the trench coat on so i was sweating yeah, 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 <laughs> but like, yeah, but like, other than that, it's literally like this project is everything because it's like my first big project that I spent a lot of time on. Like I said, I started this like seven months ago. So it's just like a lot of planning, sticking to the plan and making and I doing everything you can to make an idea come to life. And nowadays, that's a hard thing to do. It's like you got to have a lot of ambition, drive motivation and just the will overall to just keep pushing and go through any obstacles that can come your way. Because I promise you, there's I, I, there's a lot of obstacles I went through just to make this thing come to life. There's times I had to film stuff myself. Somebody wouldn't be there, hey, I hold, hey, I hold, the, hold the pole and record at the same, I don't care, like I'll make it work, so. But yeah, this is uh, Death in a B&B, there's still more to come. Next episode come out next week and the week after that, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love y'all, each and every single one of y'all. I hope y'all know that. And uh, I don't get my props. I was about to say. You guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> a lot of this would not have been done. A lot of like all the attention, all the, everything would have been here without my sister, my little sister Alexis Williams. I love you. Um, at first, at first, Alexis was just you know helping behind the scenes on the project and everything like that. And it was cool, you know, she she making some cool, good little videos, getting some good little pictures in there, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. But um, eventually, eventually, um, I made the decision to kind of just bring her in on WeWo Studios all together. Because, you know, at the moment, it's just me. So then I brought her on, and now it's me and her. And my social media has been so much better. It's literally <laughs> doing yeah, everything yourself hurts your head a lot so it was just like hey <laughs> let me get somebody who's good at that okay, do it for me. and everything has been so much better with that so alexis thank you i love you so 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 much and thank you for being on this project and helping me through with all this um but yeah this is this is just me wanting to show what we will studios is capable of there's going to be more to come and uh i want this to be a great beacon of inspiration to everybody out there because there's a lot of people out there who have a dream to pursue something like this, but they're just afraid to do it. And just wanted to give them a glimpse that, A, no matter what you have, you just gotta have the drive to do it and you'll figure it out. You know, that's all it is. Literally, that's all it is. You gotta figure it out and have the belief in yourself and the faith that you can do it. And I wanna be able to show that through We Will Studios and everything that I made. So, yeah, there you go. Cool. So, yeah. <laughs> Any final words? I just got one yeah. thing to say. I had a great time filming with you, whatever. Uh, yeah. We need to see episode two ASAP, though. Oh, hey, sure. we here. I know you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Encore? Uh, Encore. <laughs> I mean, I can't get it. It's, it's, just up, yeah, it's just upstairs. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> is artist. Artist is like, no, wait, wait, wait. No, not like. like no. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. But, huh? You said what? Stick to the schedule. Stick to the schedule. Stick to the schedule. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, Sally, my soul. Give your way. Give your way. Give your way. Give your way. Give you tried it though. <laughs> you tried it. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I really did have a great time with everyone. So I, I appreciate. I it was a pleasure working with you. It really was, and I hope we get to do that because we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
work at the same time and know that you will be able to get stuff done. Yeah. So um, I found that in this crew. Um, that was really cool. Thank you, Lance, for giving me my first credit right here. And to the rest of y'all, yeah, y'all are talented as well. Um, I remember having multiple conversations with Alexis, like just on the way back, of like how everybody is so, so talented, but they're driven and they're focused and I, I was able to see all of that on set so that was really cool. Once again, congratulations Lance. This is not the last time I've seen you. Uh, to everyone else, same to y'all. That's it. He came to like two like two filmings. Like he came to like two of them. Don't call him out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but first, thank you, Lance, Ooh. for giving me the opportunity because, like Alyssa said, I was, you know, working a lot, so I couldn't always come. But thank you for working with me, letting me still be able to help out because, like Lance said, with high school, always knew that he was going to do great things. So the fact that he been able to be on one of his first films is, you know, fantastic. Appreciate y'all. Everybody that I met here, everybody that I met, like, y'all mad talented. I'm only going further in life. Like, I really appreciate just getting to know y'all, learn, like, just talk to y'all and everything because, like, being around people that are, like, doing things in this field.
Pretty much it. Uh, unless y'all want to hear something or know something. It's a wrap. Y'all, it's a wrap. Episode two dropping it dropping. Friday. Episode two is dropping next Friday. So yeah, the seventeenth. Same time. Yeah, seventeenth. Yeah, so oh, yeah. be on the lookout for that as well. Cause literally we gonna be doing everything. Oh, I'm back. Is this gonna be a weekly deal? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This, this was, was the. That was, was a weekly thing. I'm feeling it. This was the premiere, okay? Emphasis on the word premiere. One time only, okay? One time only. Depends on how this do. If it's the nigga, then hey. But yeah, other than that, y'all got any questions or anything like that? Don't be free to ask, but other than that, that's it. Okay, um.